Hello, friends, and welcome to Saucer Swap. Today, we'd like to kick off a series of how-to videos that walk you through some of the key features of our protocol. Additionally, these videos will serve to showcase our current user interface. Please keep in mind that the design is a work in progress and will be overhauled as we approach our public launch. We'd like to go over a foundational concept in DeFi, that being the creation of liquidity pools and provision of liquidity to existing pools. It's important that you understand the concept as well as the process. Without further ado, let's jump in. The first step is to open Google Chrome or another Chrome-based browser. Next, add the Hashpack extension and create an account if you haven't already. Next, let's go to SaucerSwap. Here we are on the liquidity page. Once your wallet is set up, navigate to the top right of the nav bar and click Connect Wallet. This will open a window that prompts you to connect your wallet with SaucerSwap via HashConnect. You can click the button, use the pairing string, or the QR code. I'm going to use the button. I'll select my wallet and approve the connection. Now that that's done, the next step is to make sure you have some HBAR in your connected wallet to cover gas fees, as well as some tokens, coins, or stable coins that you'd like to provide as liquidity. First, let's decide which pair we want to provide liquidity for. I'm going to choose HBAR X and Dove. I currently have enough HBAR to cover gas fees, plus some HBAR X and Dove. If you don't have the tokens you wish to provide as liquidity, that's okay. You can navigate to the Swap tab at the top and trade for the tokens you wish to receive. But let's leave swapping for next time and focus on providing liquidity today. I'm going to click Token A and choose HBAR X. If you're choosing a token that hasn't been added to our database yet, you can enter the token ID. Next, I'm going to click Token B and choose Dove. You'll notice at the top, I'm being informed that this is a new liquidity pool. Now that the tokens are selected, I have to enter some values. These values determine what amount of each token I want to provide as liquidity. Here, I am setting the ratio of tokens in the pool, which determines the price of the tokens in the pool. Usually, if a token has a market price, it makes sense to set the ratio such that the prices of the tokens approximate market price. If I set the price too far from market prices, arbitrageurs will step in and rebalance the pool to match market prices at my expense. As such, I'm going to enter amounts that have roughly equal values according to current market prices. Next, I'm going to open the slippage modal by clicking on the pencil icon next to slippage. Here, I can adjust my slippage tolerance. A low value ensures the price at the confirmation time closely matches the actual price of the transaction, although this comes at the risk of my transaction failing. A higher value increases the likelihood of my transaction succeeding at the risk of a discrepancy between these prices. I will keep my slippage tolerance at the default value of 0.5%. Now that that's done, I'm all set to provide liquidity. Let's navigate to the bottom and submit the transaction to the network. When I do so, I will be prompted to approve the transaction in my hash pack. I'm going to approve it, and I'll see on the site that my transaction has succeeded. I can verify this in my hash pack. Here, I can see the SSLP tokens I just minted. Back on the site, at the top of the window, I can navigate over to My Pools. This will show me all of the pools where I am providing liquidity. And here, we can see the Dove-HBARX liquidity pool I just created. There is also some information about my position in the pool. You'll also notice there is another pool in which I have provided liquidity, the HBAR-USDC pool. Let's add some liquidity to that pool. First, we'll navigate back over to the Supply tab. Once again, I'll select the tokens I want to provide. HBAR is token A and USDC is token B. Since this pool already exists, I'm no longer receiving a notification at the top about setting the price of the pool. It follows that when I enter values for token A, the values for token B are automatically entered based on the ratio of the pool. Let's again set our slippage tolerance to a reasonable value. 0.5% sounds good. And now, let's supply some more liquidity. 
Once again, I'll be prompted to approve a transaction in Hashpack. Let's approve it. The transaction has now succeeded, and the number of LP tokens in my Hashpack has been updated. Additionally, in the My Pools section, my position in the HBAR-USDC liquidity pool has been updated. Great! Now whenever users swap between HBAR and USDC, or between HBARX and Dove, I will receive rewards for providing liquidity. I can stop here if I'd like, or I can farm my LP tokens for additional yield. But that's a topic for another video. If you're looking for a more detailed look at any of the steps discussed in this video, ask a question in our Discord server. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Saucerswap Labs for more updates. Until next time, kind regards from your friends at Saucerswap.